is Gilbert Gottfried's amazing, colossal podcast. I'm here once again with my co-host, Frank Santo Padre. And once again, we're, we're recording at Nutmeg with our engineer, Frank Verderosa. Our guest this week is making his second appearance on the podcast and is backed by popular and overwhelming demand. Was it really? <laughs> was it really popular and overwhelming? Yes, it was. And was it demanding? Was, it, was I demanded? <laughs> I love being demanded. It's lovely to be well, you, demanded. You, I share the tweets with you. <laughs> well, you know, that technical social media stuff, I don't do it that much. <laughs> I don't particularly like it. I do do it, but my... My Instagram is like an abandoned amusement park. It's just, it sits there. That's sad. I don't care. I do it once in a while. But I did see those tweets because I'm slightly egomaniacal, uh-huh. and I need to know that I'm loved. More to come after this one. Yeah. Mm-hmm, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Oh, keep going, Gilbert. Well, I'm sorry. More that- accolades. More accolades. <laughs> more pies. Come. Well, that was our guest, Vin Diesel. Yes. <laughs> I always knew he was a homosexual. I said it. I said it. I knew it. He's so mysterious, Vin Diesel. He dodges the sexuality questions. You never see him with the yeah. woman. Come on, Vince. It's 2016. Kids are jumping off of bridges. We need you. Christ. Oh, let's see if you can get through the intro. Sorry, yeah. keep going. Okay, where was I? An accomplished actor, singer, and writer. I am an accomplished actor, singer, and writer. You are. I'm a terrible writer. I just speak. (laughs) I don't really write. But I do sing, and I am an actor. (laughs) A thespian. (laughs) That can't imagine being a lesbian. I can't. We love guests that don't let us get through the intro. Well, keep going. I like that. I like to bounce off the intro. I remember doing that last time. I just kept bouncing off it, back and forth, back and forth. It's like a riveting comedy ping pong ball game. Go ahead. You know him from hit Broadway shows like Love, Valor, and Compassion. No, they don't because that was in 1824. (laughs) So they don't know me from that. No one goes to Broadway that's listening to you. You started. You sounded a little like Charles Nelson Riley there. Oh, oh, oh please! Oh. <laughs> Big banana and crayons. Oh, 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 oh. Stephen Sondheim's Assassin. Well, that was quite. You good. were great in that. I oh, saw you yes. in that. Stephen and- Sondheim's Assassin is a riveting, riveting musical drama about everybody who ever attempted to or succeeded in assassinating a president. You were Richard United. Bick. I was Sam Bick. Oh, Samuel Bick. Actually, Samuel it was Bick. pronounced Bike, but in the okay. musical they called it I'm Bick. way the hell off. No, but they pronounced it Bick in the musical. For some reason, it was Bike in real life. But who wants to ride a bike? You'd rather just write with a Bick. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, Gil. And his own one-man show, Laugh Hall. Yes, soon I'll be doing another one if I get the goddamn producers to do it. <laughs> but then again, I think, it's kind of life-sucking. It's exhausting. That's all you worry about is your voice, your singing, your comedic timing, your impressions, and you need to be in good voice every night. And with eight shows a week, it's very difficult to do. You broke into Cousin Googie there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> go, go, go ahead. Merry right. yeah, go ahead. As well as TV shows like Men in Trees. Oh, yes. I was played a homosexual who gave his <laughs> kidney to a beautiful straight man that he didn't even know. Pathetic! <laughs> Fucking had, pathetic! We had John Amos here, too. Your I love John Amos. We had, we had a great time the with best him. guy. He's a wonderful guy. Chappelle Show. Yes, I, he made me very cool. I have a good story about that. Okay, you you'll tell us. Well, you, all right, well, can I tell you now? Go. Yeah, just hold, yeah. on, hold on to your paper okay. and listen. Um, <laughs> all right. So, well, you know, I can usually tell um, by who the people are uh, what they recognize me from. Like if it's, you know, young women or women in their 20s or 30s, it's always, you know, sex in the city. Mm-hmm. If it's middle-aged women and, and, and black women, it's usually the view. Um, if it's, uh, you know... Elderly homosexuals, it's usually Broadway. And if it's a young, um, beautiful black man, it's usually, or, or a black teen, or, or, or a dazzling urbanite. A dazzling urbanite. <laughs> and there's many in my neighborhood. I love them. I've, I smoke the blunts and hang out with them. Um, I kick <laughs> it with the homies and smoke the blunts. Um, but he, uh, it's usually Chappelle show. And one time I was walking out of my building, and on the corner was this handsome young 
beautiful urbanite male with his girlfriend and his buddies. And he said, yo, man, you that comedian, right? I said, yeah. He was like, yo, man, you hilarious. I said, thank you so much. And I thought he was going to say. And he went, you the one that does that Liza Minnelli impression. Yo, that's fucking fresh. I was like, what? How do you know? That? Yeah, man, you do that Liza Minnelli, man, man, yo. And I walked away and I said, thank you. He was like, yo, man, you my nigga. You my nigga. I was like, and that's like the highest compliment in the world when they say. I was like, I'll be... The N word for you anytime. I'll be your N word because you can't say it back. Right. Like I just said it. But I had to say it for the bit. <laughs> it's okay. Please, my husband's African American. Go fuck yourself. Exactly. How about that? Go ahead. And, <laughs> and I suck cock, so walk in my shoes, okay? Don't pull the fucking racist card on me. Walk in my shoes. Go ahead, walk in my shoes. He'll get through it. I was a leper in the 80s. <laughs> I was looked, I feel like Barbara Stanwyck, I was looked at like a leper. <laughs> like a leper. <laughs> Just because I like to lick pussy. <laughs> it's like Thornbirds era, yeah, it is Barbara the thorn- Stanwyck. Oh, it yeah. is the Thornbirds. Yeah. I only not, do them after. Yeah, yeah, not the Ball of Fire. No, uh, not Ball era. of Fire. No. Or, or wait a minute, what about um, my favorite one, um, the, 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 the Ladies of Burlesque about the G-string. Oh, murders, sure. Where she sang, take it off the A-string, play it on the G-string. ba ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da Remember that? Take it off the A-string, play it on the G-string. It's, it's all I like, picture her. It's fingering herself. <laughs> And sex in the city. Yes, that's the big one. That made me international. <laughs> international. I go to Guadeloupe and they're like, I, I, they speak to me in that's nice. languages. I go to Paris. I go to Amsterdam. And they say, would you like to smoke some Sense Amelia? That's showing my age, isn't it? <laughs> yes, Sense Amelia. It is. Oh, my God. Well, go ahead. Continue. Variety has called Jesus him- Christ, what? You got, you got quotes? Go ahead. <laughs> Variety has called him a ferocious comic dynamo. Did they really? They did. Mm, yes. I know some of my reviews. I can quote them, but I won't. <laughs> you quote the a few. The New York Times says oh, he Jesus has Christ. an uncanny gift. Do I? Really? <laughs> I have an uncanny gift, but it's not wrapped. Do you mind? <laughs> it's bare. I'm giving you a bareback gift. It's not wrapped. <sighs> Liza Minnelli says... What the hell did I ever do to that guy? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what did I do to him? I, You know, I wanted 20 tickets to his <laughs> opening night on Broadway, and they refused me. Well, I'll tell you why I refused her. Because I closed the first act with her. I wasn't doing that exactly. to myself on my opening night. No. Smart. Sorry. Sound move. I know. Please welcome back our special holiday episode guest, a man of numerous talents, our friend, the demure, laid back, and always introverted, Mario Canton. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here for our Christmas special, Gilbert, Frank, and Mario <laughs> in a triangular room. Oh, my God, it's like a pink triangle. It's really not good. Thanks for coming back, buddy. Uh, A Jew and a homo in a pink triangle. This is really good. (laughs) Go ahead. Can you, before we start the Christmas special, Oh yeah. can you do Judy Garland when she was, you know, somewhat in charge of her brain? Of course I can. And and then later on... Well, I think when she she was... Uh, uh, very in charge of her brain. She was very sharp, and she could just, you know, talk about anything. I, I, when I did the Wizard of Oz, you know, the um, the the Munchkins, they were little, little, little people. You know, they 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 put them all in one hotel, and they used to trash the place. They broke tables, and they were <laughs> drinking beer and wine and whiskey, and they would throw artwork off the wall. They were horrible. They would kick you in the shins. We had to catch them with butterfly nets. So that's kind of the way yeah, she was. Yeah. But then I just saw her one of her last appearances on the Johnny Carson show. Oh. And it, I was, it, it killed me because she was just like, well, I, it's um, uh, in Lordville. We had a, uh, you know, the, the um, uh, I, there was a, a man who, who used to make a coyote sing. And he would, you know, play his, his, his and it was just like, <laughs> Johnny kept like cutting in and, and trying to like lift up the whole segment. And then she sang the song. 
please stay with me till after the holidays. That's when I need you so. Slash my wrist! I was like, what? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, please be kind. Let's spend a year. Please be mine on New Year's Eve. It was so depressing. How how soon before she passed that was, away? That was uh, it was December of 1968. She died in right. June of 1968. So she was really on the last. Uh, yeah, it was on her last. And life. you see her early Jack Parr stuff, and it's so sharp. And then you see her later, and it's not. It's upsetting. Is that what you wanted, Gil? Uh, yes. You, you want to bring the room Thanks down? Thanks for bringing the fucking room down. <laughs> I, in fact, in fact, can you do her right as she was dying? <laughs> That is a terrible thing. I, I never, old singers never die. They just uh, forget the lyrics. Chet Rich Little was here, and there's a you can find it on YouTube, one of his first uh, TV appearances in 64, and she's sitting in a chair, and he's standing and doing, it's very odd. Uh, he's standing, and he's doing all what, these impressions. What was it? What special was on it? On a Judy Garland, uh, the Judy Garland show. Show, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like he's bending over her yeah. as she's sitting down. Very odd. And she hated impressionists. Well, yes. she didn't. Li- they had to. They had to sell her on his James Mason to get her to. Uh, oh God! Well, to agree to do um, the. Uh, and, well, you know, you know, she didn't. She say, impressionists make me uh, fart. That's what she said. <laughs> and I kept waiting for Rich to say it, and he didn't say no, it. No, they make me fart. I don't like. Them. <laughs> they make me uh, poo out of my little Dorothy hole. <laughs> what? Can- can you do what? Judy Garland's oh my party? God. Oh, yes, I now. can. Watch. Clang, clang, clang. There it is. <laughs> it's a you Martin tribute. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, dear God. Oh, my gosh. Now, you were here with us before. Yes. Yes, and we got quite a lot of attention for it can, and quite a lot of... Can you do... <laughs> just going to keep this... This is like all request night. I'm going to ask you what. Go ahead. Can I do Make what? him do James Mason. Yeah. No, <laughs> Judy Garland giving a blow job. <laughs> This is ho- now. Now you're blasphemous. You're, this is really against the homosexual way to, to take her down like this. Yes. When you do Kirk Dulli- Douglas getting fucked up the ass <laughs> by his son Michael, then maybe I'll do Judy Garland. As Liberace. Yeah. Uh, 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 this is so small. It's like a munchkin dick. Uh, oh, all right. <laughs> When you were here yes. and you did your Carol Channing and, and Gilbert was doing Herbie yes. Vila Oh, my God, that's right. We did and that. people went oh, crazy oh for my it. God. But we thought a lot of people wrote, a lot of people said, you got to have Mario Cantone back. Darren and I said it would be the perfect Christmas episode because I don't know anyone who loves Christmas as oh, much I, as you do. Well, I love Christmas. I, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Uh, well, happy holidays. Yes. <laughs> to you. He's, uh, uh, he's in no man's land because well, he's not really much of a Jew either. Uh, well, he, he, well, well. Them fighting words. Do you celebrate Hanukkah? You ain't much of a Jew either. <laughs> <laughs> do you celebrate Hanukkah? Are you, you're not a pious, I, particularly pious no, Jew. No, I... I I'm one of those. I I think or observant. Yeah, I'm I'm one of those Jews that I don't know when the holidays are. I eat ham and I eat bacon, but I know that if the Nazis came back, I'd be on a train with everybody else. <laughs> so <laughs> that's it's how I know. I, I mean, okay. heartwarming holiday of sentiment. This is uh, this is the most uplifting holiday special I've ever been a part of. Stewie Stone called me a uh, oh boxcar Jew. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Gilbert, can you do James Mason getting fucked up the ass by Bert Lahr? Okay, no, I'm kidding. Go ahead, uh, go ahead do, do it. it. It's, oh, oh, yes, yes, Bert. Oh, Bert, stick, stick your dick in further in my ass. And, <laughs> and then if, if you could pull your penis out and, and splosh me in the face with it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do Bert Lahr, but I can't. If I was king of the forest. <laughs> That's wrong. He was so good. Uh, all right, so what are you going to do? What, 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 what are you... <laughs> What do you got for me? I know you're a Rankin Bass fan. Oh my God, yes. 
I know you know Jules Bass personally. I do. I do know Jules. I haven't talked to him in so long. I used to work out with him at the gym, and when I found out it was him, I like was like, Mr. Bass. And you know what's I interesting about him? I'll tell you. Because Rankin died, right? Arthur Rankin's Arthur gone, Arthur Rankin yeah. died, and I, don't, I haven't spoken to Jules in a while. I, I, I always want to call him and just say, you know, you brought me so much joy, because he has. Mm-hmm. I, I'm obsessed with these specials. He's the Walt Disney of Christmas. Pretty much. He really is. Oh, you called yourself. What? Because uh, of your love of Disney films. Yes. Yeah. You are a... I'm a Disney fag. Yes. <laughs> I am a Disney homo from the word go. By the, I, I by love the, the way. Disney and I love the rank it best. But I told Jules, he, you know what's interesting about him is that, you know, he kind of like was a little, not embarrassed, but he doesn't, he's like, I'm like, he's like, he, when he saw my special, he loved it. And he went, you need to do be the snow miser when they do Year Without a Santa Claus live action, which I didn't do. Mm-hmm. This is the Dick Sean part. That's the one you should do. I said, well, you know, hook me up. He goes, I don't do that shit anymore. <laughs> so I said, so I, but I said to him, I said, you know, on all the extras on the DVDs, there's there's interviews with Arthur Rankin Bass, who died a few years ago. Sure. But there's interviews with Arthur. There's none with Jules. I said, you need to be interviewed. People are going to think you're dead, and you look much better now than you did back then with that the Jew fro that he had. Now it's tighter, <laughs> and he looks very cute, and he's fit, and he's in his mid-70s. He looks amazing. And I'm like, you need to do those interviews so people don't think you're dead. He's he's a lovely tried to man. get him for this show. It's too just too, I know. too tough. I, I I have and I, I I wanted to call him for you, but I hadn't that's called okay. him for so long that that's I felt all, bad. That's all and right. I still haven't called him. But I when I do, I'll I'll mention it. And speaking of Disney, yes. we're recording this on December twelfth, two thousand uh, two thousand and sixteen. Yep. And why is this week a significant anniversary? He died. He died Walt on Disney, the fifteenth. He died December fifteenth, nineteen sixty six, and he was born December fifth, nineteen oh one. Don't tell me yeah. I know. So fifty years I, he'll be dead this week. Fifty now. years, and yeah. I was just in Disney World. I just went to Disney World. I did a concert in Fort Lauderdale, and I went to Disney World for four days. It was fantastic. I I thought for a while you were going to. And why is this day different from all I was. Yes. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Yeah, it's his fifty year. Yeah, it's his fifty years. Year, yeah, yeah. yeah well, I was there on his birthday, Uncle Walt. And they didn't even. They kind of tweeted it, but they weren't making a big deal about it. I'm like, there should have been a fucking parade for the guy. It is called Walt Disney World. Yeah, 1966, <sighs> fifty years ago this week. I so know. let's talk a little Rankin Bass. All right, we love it. Oh, and I'm just. I, I was struck by some of the people that are in these cartoons, oh, yeah. and I haven't seen a lot of them. Gil, of course, you've seen Rudolph. Oh, of and course. And you've probably seen Santa Claus is coming to town with Mickey Rooney. Oh, my God. I just oh, watched yes. that. And Fred Astaire now, as I, the mailman. I remember a boring story, but it meant something to me it growing is. up. Uh, I remember watching uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer with my mother and my sister Karen. Mm-hmm. And they announced that if you went to some music shop or, you know, a record store... They had some kind of deal where you bought something and you got a free album of the songs of Rudolph. And my sister, did. She, we didn't get all the information. And she wrote a letter to them saying, how do you get that again? And they sent us I a, love that. an album of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's cool. So, a, a, a oh, song I had by, that uh... album. I had that album. It was the, I, And I have it on CD now because I'm still in the 80s. Right. Johnny Marks. Johnny Marks. And, yeah. yeah. Who was in the Brill Building. Wow. In, so he wrote yeah. all, He wrote all the music for that, but Jules Jules Bass and Maury Laws wrote M- Maury, all the late other Maury specials. Laws, yeah. They wrote all the other specials. They, they wrote Santa Claus. Oh, Maury Jones. Laws is around. I didn't mean to kill Maury off. No, no. Ro- Romeo Muller is Blo- gone. Romeo Muller is gone, but Maury Laws is little, alive. Who did the little boy? Oh, in in um, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, the, the little boy. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You mean Hermie the dentist? You mean oh, Hermie. Hermie the dentist? Oh, I don't want to be an elf. I want to be a dentist. The gayest <laughs> special. Oh yeah, because you know the, the the father's like, no son of mine's gonna have a red nose. You're gonna wear this piece of shit on it, and you're gonna like it. And he's like, oh, what do you're gonna wear? It. No son of mine's going to have a red nose. What he's really saying is, no son of mine's going to be a little faggot. That's what he's really <laughs> Pretty saying. much. Pretty much. And then Santa, that fat fuck Santa, he comes in, and for, when they send Rudolph to the reindeer games with that, I hate that gym teacher comet with his fucking baseball cap. <laughs> he's, he's a like, Nazi. Oh, he's the fucking Homophobic he Nazi. Is, he, he is every gym teacher. It kills me. It plugs, <laughs> it plugs into such a deep-rooted anger that I have. Because he's like, right, right. Let's see what you got, Rudolph. Right, right. Come on. Let's see. Right, 
back. And then Rudolph flies because he's the best one. Sure. Because the girl's like, you're cute. And he's like, I'm cute. And he flies. And then someone's hoof hits his nose and it's exposed. And they all are like, oh, my. It's like he got a hard on in the shower in gym class. <laughs> it's all there. It's all there. It's the gayest special. And then he meets Hermie, who's like, I, I, I'm not a yet yet. I, I, I. He's the, and they go off together to the misfit Island of Misfit Toys, remember that? Right, sure. Why am I such a misfit? I am not just a misfit. Wait, you can't fire me. I quit. Why don't I fit in? Oh yeah. Why am I different from the rest? Who decides the test of what is really best? We're not Jeffy and Daily. Don't go around willy nilly. Seems to be kind of silly that we don't fit in. Yeah. Um, Beautiful. But they go off and and they go to the island of misfit toys, which uh, there's like the the train with square wheels and the little girl. We're it, on the, the island, island of misfit toys. It's spooky with King Moonraiser. Um, King, and he's like, and what? About, oh wait, what about the? I'm not a Jack in the Box. I'm a Charlie in the Box. <laughs> Rudolph, let go of my key. Ooh, look, there's King Moonraiser. If you want to stay on the island of Misfit Toys, you have to talk to King Moonraiser. It's a big gay bar. It's all there. It's the Fire Island of Misfit Toys. And what about Yukon Cornelius, who was like a big gay bear? He's got <laughs> a sled like that's... From Chelsea. Yeah, yeah it, the uh, Chelsea bear. Oh, yeah, just like <laughs> any, you know, gay guy from... Some big guy walking a little dog. He's got a poodle pulling his sleigh. It's the gayest thing in the world. You, you know what I always oh, hated about Lord. the whole story of Rudolph? Is that it's it's supposed to be teaching not to be prejudiced and allow someone who's different in. Yeah. But he he's only allowed in... After he helps them out. No shit. Because Santa said to, says to, to the comet, the gym teacher, he's like, oh, that's too bad. He, he had a good takeoff, too. So he still doesn't have a good takeoff? He doesn't have that talent just because he sucks reindeer dick? Really, <laughs> Santa? Because he's Rudolph the same sex reindeer? And then at the end, you're right. He's like, wait a minute, Rudolph with your nose so bright. Won't you guide my... Now he wants... I would have yeah. said, you know what, Santa? You humiliated me my whole life. Crash and burn! <laughs> You fat fuck! That's what I would have said. I, You're absolutely right. I about always that. felt that way. Well, like, you know what? Why the fuck is he helping them? Well, no offense to us, but where would we be if we didn't have some kind of talent? We'd be out in the fucking streets being called a Jew and a fag. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me. <laughs> Where would we be? It's the same story. It's show business. Oh, we like you because you That's have right. talent. They don't like us for what's in us. For what's in my heart, which is basically stone cold anyway. But that's not the point. And speaking of your talent. <laughs> piss me off. And, oh. and, and Mario and I will be on the road as the Jew and the fag. That's right. Yeah. The Jew and the fag. <laughs> the, the Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> you want to? We're going to do a little, uh, just a little bit of dialogue from Rudolph. Okay. So and you, you want to do your the one we talked about outside? Uh, who did I say I was going to? You do were going to do uh, 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 from the from the uh, Mr. Uh, used to do. Uh, oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. And Gil, why don't you do uh, a little Walter Matthau? Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So I, I, I could do it as Hermie, but I won't do it as Hermie because okay. I've already done Hermie. This is. The I think se- I'll do it as Fat Brando. Okay, okay. Fat oh, Brando. Okay. This is this this is the scene between Hermie and his supervisor at the uh, oh yes to, at the okay. toy uh, factory. Hermie, aren't you finished with that painting yet? There's a pile up a mile wide behind you. What's eating you, boy? I'm just uh, not happy in my work, I guess. Why? I just don't like to make toys. <laughs> Oh, well, if that's all. What? You don't like to make toys? No, 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 no. Amy doesn't like to make toys. Mind telling me what you do want to do? Well, sir, someday I, uh, I'd like to be a dentist. <laughs> a dentist? <laughs> well, you know, a dentist. <clears throat> well... We we need one up here. I've been studying. It's fascinating. You have no idea. Molars and my cuspids and incisors. Santa Claudia cookies. <laughs> ring dings and ho-hos. And, uh, 
the chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> now listen, you. You're an elf. And elks make toys. Now get to work. Finish the job or you're fired. Why am I such a misfit? I am not just a nitwit. You can fire me. I quit. Seems I don't fit in. It's <laughs> <laughs> like this little like Brando and Guys and Dolls. It is. Luck the be end. a lady tonight. Luck be... One, I always ask on stage, yeah. what musical did he do? Someone yelled out one time, The Last Tango in Paris. I said, that was good. Get the butter, get the butter, get the yeah. butter in, now. In the news this week. Was it? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Last because of the, uh, Oh, that they said he forcibly <clears throat> That the director, Bertolucci, and he... Didn't tell her about the butter. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 they wanted to get a reaction from her. Oh, that's really fucking Let's good. go through these Rankin-Bass specials yes, quickly, and I'd like to know... And Gilbert, tell me which of these you've seen. Your eyes are the eyes... Of a oh, woman in love. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they cut two they cut two of his songs. They cut um um they cut a couple of his songs and then they, they gave him Your Eyes Are the Eyes of a Woman in Love. I forget. There were two numbers that Sky has. I forget yeah. what they are. Was Robert Alda the original Sky yes, on he Broadway? Was. Yeah. Yes, he was. Imagine Alan him Aldis, in it. Yeah. And was Aldis Sam Aldis. Levine? He was yeah. he was uh, Nathan, wasn't yes. he? Yes. Yeah. I yeah. think so. <clears throat> and yep. and Brando and Frank Sinatra hated each other. Hated each other because Sinatra wanted to be Sky, but Brando was more beautiful. But, you know, he couldn't sing it like Sinatra. It's actually kind of a boring movie. Yeah. And it's upsetting. It's a little, little stagey. It, it's Joe Mankiewicz, and it, it should be great. And it's not It's it's not that good. But Brando, Brando's good in it. I, he, it's, you know, he him singing is hilarious. Yeah, it is. They call you Lady Luck. <laughs> But there is room for doubt. So uh, the Leprechaun's <clears throat> Christmas Gold. I've seen that, but I forget with it. With Art Carney as Blarney Killa, Killa Carney. All right, fuck Killa it. Killa Killarney. Get to the good ones. Okay. Uh, Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July. Yeah, who, Jackie Vernon. Jackie, yeah. Jackie Red Vernon. Buttons. Yep. Uh, Ethel Merman. Uh, Ethel Merman's in it. Yeah. yeah, she does some circus song. Now, yeah. I, I'm going to take <clears throat> a wild guess that you can do an Ethel Merman. I can. Invitation. I, I never can. heard you do Ethel Merman. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah. I, can, I can do it. Let's hear it. Ah, you want to hear the? Le- I mean, I got. I'm Fleming up. Hold on. Go ahead. Okay. Let, let him have his. Little... Please edit this. We will. <clears throat> it's heavily edited. Right. Good because I've got phlegm all over my cords. I've had some vocal problems lately. Mm. Uh, let's see. I wish I knew one of the numbers from that because I don't. But she was, you know, she's. Um, I. St- <laughs> I'll do her in the vagina monologues. There's no vagina like my vagina. There's no vagina I know. Everything about it is appealing. Everything the traffic will allow. Nowhere can you get that happy feeling when you are plowing that special bow. All right, that's enough. hilarious. She is funny in uh, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. She is And very nobody th- knew she was a comedian. She is funny. Nobody knew she could do she that. She's actually good in There's No Business Like Show Business with Marilyn Monroe. And Dan she Daly. Dan, she plays the mother. She's very good at right. that. Right. Donald O'Connor. Yeah. Uh, Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July. Does yeah. this mean anything to you? No, I, I, I forget it. I, those, are the, those are the- Alan Seuss. Alan Oh, I loved Alan Seuss. Yeah. He was yeah. really funny. Pinocchio's Christmas in 1980. Yeah. Uh, all right, now that's going a little too far. Don't okay, you Alan King was in it. Here, oh. Gil. Here, Gil. Mm. Uh, Theodore Bikel mm. in The Stingiest Man in Town with Tom Bosley. Yep. Oh. Dennis Day and Walter Matthau. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yeah, yep. 1978. These are not shown anywhere, are they? Yes, they are, on ABC Family. Really? Which is called something else now, isn't it? I think it's, yeah. Platinum or plutonium? Something or... like that. Yeah, they, they they play them all. Freeform. Go ahead, we, keep we, going. We could have gotten Theodore Bakel, but I figured it wasn't worth the hurry. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but we were I just mean... told he was well endowed by, yes, uh, by Ronnie Shell. Theodore Bakel had Shell. a big dick. Are you serious? Ronnie yes. Shell told us. But so does Burt Ward. Yeah, well, we'll we'll straighten that out when yes. he's on next week. All right, go ahead. What about Frosty's Winter Wonderland <laughs> with I Andy Griffith? I knew I Griffith? had a crush on Robin for some reason. <laughs> uh, Did you read it? his book, by the way? No, I oh, did. There's a lot of that Does in he there. talk about his cock? Uh, the whole book and oh. the cover. The uh, cover is a picture of his cock? Pe- yes. Well, it's, <laughs> it's a dick pic? It's a book. And, it's called and, My Life in Tights. Oh, God. It's it's a picture of his cock, and around it, it says, bam. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
was hilarious. hilarious. Oh, Fred, uh, the, 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 the stingiest man in town. Uh, let's see. Uh, Frosty's Winter Wonderland with Andy Griffith Yo, I, narrating. Uh, yeah. Shelly Winters. Oh, oh, she plays Mrs. Snowman. <laughs> oh, melting. Look, I'm melting. Frosty, it's sunny out. <laughs> well, hurry up. Here comes the sun. Hurry up. Well, I, I'm melting. Oh, I, can't, I, I can't even. I don't have any legs. <laughs> I don't have any legs. I just have a big ball of snow that I move on. Well, this was in a dur- after Durante died, so they were trying to recapture the magic. Yeah. And they had Andy Griffith as the narrator because Durante was dead. Jackie yep. Vernon reprising his famous role you know, from seven I, years I'm before. I'm not crazy about the, this Frosty. The Frosty, no. Well, yeah. Jack, oh, Jackie Vernon yeah. was Frosty? Yeah. yeah. Gilbert, does a, little, Gilbert does a little do Jackie it. Vernon. Hi, I'm Frosty the Slowman. <laughs> I've got some slides for my vacation. (laughs) Here's Santa Claus climbing down the chimney. Here he is getting stuck in the chimney. Here's the crowd leaving him to starve to death. <laughs> oh, my God. That was his act. He had the clicker. That, he used to do the slides. Oh, did he? Oh, that's yeah. hilarious. That was his act. Was Billy DeWolf in the in the, in the the uh, first one? He's in the original yeah, one, yeah. He's like the... the, the he's, he's the like magician. The he's, he's the terrible. corrupt magician. He's like, yes, Frosty. Yeah, he's yeah. kind of a real... He's hilarious. But, yeah, I, I don't like that he takes that little girl into the greenhouse at the end and gets all hel- like he gets all hot and he melts. He's yeah. a pedophile. I don't like Frosty. <laughs> Frosty's a pedophile. He's a pedophile. He has to, he has to, he has to register anywhere he's built. <laughs> <laughs> what about Santa Baby from 2001 with Eartha Kitt? Okay. Gregory Santa Hines Baby. and Patti LaBelle. Oh, yeah, well, that's too current. Yeah, too current. Too good. Santa oh. baby. Hard on my chimney. Rudolph ride. Shiny New Year from 1976. That's not even good either. Yeah, Frank Gorshin. Yep. Uh, Maury Amsterdam and Red Skelton. Who else? Keep going. Uh, Jack Frost from 79. Oh, that's with Robert Morris and um, Buddy and, Hackett? And Buddy Hackett, Gil. Oh, wow. He plays like a... What is he playing? Like a fucking chip? Uh, he plays Pete the Groundhog. Oh, that's right. I knew it was a chip. Yeah. It was a, it was... I'm... I'm... Eat the groundhog <laughs> and fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> that holiday isn't worth shit. <laughs> the one common thread in all of these things is Paul Fries. He's he in every all. one of them. Oh, yeah. And Paul Fries was the voice of the Cyclops in the Cyclops by Bert I. Gordon. I love that. You know that. And starring, Bless your heart. Starring my favorite star, Lon Chaney Jr. Yeah, we wow. took the name of this show from a Bert Gordon movie, The Amazing oh. Colossal Man. Oh, wow. Bert I. Gordon, who's still alive in his 90s. And Paul and, Fries was in that movie? I, he oh, was he, of, he was the voice of the Cyclops. I love Paul Meese. He, he did the Burgermeister, I think. Sure, right? sure, sure. And, yeah. Oh, everything. I like the Burgermeister's gay assistant. <laughs> Oh. Sire, it's a difficult responsibility. <laughs> I know the one you mean. You know, he's like, oh, Sire, ooh, there are toys. There are toys in the village. They're, everyone's fucking really gay in these specials. I don't Did care what Did you take this up with Jules? Yeah. Hey, I got to ask them. Frank Verderosa something. Go ahead. In if you could get me the words to the uh, Mr. Magoo's Christmas special, oh, okay. I'm all alone in the world. Okay, Frankie, see okay. if you can come up with that. I'm on it. We'll you pl- want to know something? That's I think that is a bad special. Yeah, the last, Magoo. You it's think terrible. the Magoo special is terrible? I think the, the I'm back, 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 back on Broadway. It's the worst. Is it Bacchus? It, it's, Magoo? Yeah, but yeah. it's all. It's Julie Stein. It should be great music. It's terrible. Yeah. I think it's horrible. See, I love the Mr. Magoo. Yeah, well. You know, no one said you had Mis- taste. Mis- <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? It's a Christian holiday. Mi- yeah, <laughs> Mr. Magoo's Christmas. Do you know the child? The, the, the child is, is young Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> you see, he is left here all alone. Nobody wants him. Poor lad. Oh, poor lonely child. No one child. wants to hear Jim back is sing. <laughs> this is disturbing. And the kid sucks too. <laughs> Shut it off! <laughs> you Did have you fond memories of this one. Yes, huh? get me the words to that. I'm singing it to Mario later. Okay. I can't wait. And, and he I'd also, rather you. They also sing. Uh, can I have a Christmas tree with raspberries? 
Razzleberry dressing. Get that. A little Razzleberry would be nice. Could I have a Christmas tree with Razzleberry dressing? Are they going to eat the fucking tree? <laughs> what is Razzleberry <laughs> dressing? Sense. It's like a snozzleberry from Willy Wonka. Uh, yeah, uh, a snozzleberry. A snozzleberry. A snozzleberry. snozzleberry. Uh, how about Nestor the Long-Eared Christmas Donkey? That's a good with one. With Roger it's, Miller. It's basically... Oh, wait. It's basically Rudolph, but the And ears. then there's the, the crooks who are uh, robbing uh, Scrooge after he's dead, stealing from his home. Are you, you still on Jim Backus? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he can't get off la, the go. La, 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 yep. la, 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 <laughs> la, 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 no good. Yeah, the great lyrics. To it. Just great. <laughs> this was Julie Stein. Huh? Yeah, great lyrics. Uh, go ahead. Next. All right. All right. Oh my God. Okay. How about? Uh, ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Let's see. The little drummer boy. That's the one from '76. Yeah. yeah. And they don't show it anymore. With Zero Mostel. They no. That was Drummer Boy Two. Oh, Zero Drummer Mastel. Boy Two. You're right. Jose Ferrer was in the first. You're one. right. You're right. He plays one of the desert. With Greer Garson. Greer Garson. He was Spanish, but he played a Jew in the Cane yeah. Mutant. Yeah. Yes, he did. Greer and Garson. Green, green bomb or something. Yeah, uh, and married to Rosemary Clooney. Oh, yeah, that's right. Greer Garson de- 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 narrates that special. She's like the little drummer boy hated people, all people. He was a miserable little bastard. He really was. <laughs> Beautiful. It's the greatest special. And let me just say something about the special. It, they don't show it that much anymore because they said that it's racist because it portrays Arabs as terrorists. <laughs> so God. they don't, but they're called the Desert Bandits. And they showed the little drum boy when he's young, all happy, and the father and mother give him a drum, and he's got his little yarmulke on, and he's so cute, and, and, and he plays the drum, and it's magical, and the, the, the animals dance. And then the Desert Bandits sneak onto their property. They they stab the father. They throw a knife at him. It goes right in him. He goes over. They burn the mother, and they're all wooden puppets, so she goes up in flames. And they kill the mother and father. And then he goes off, and he is a... He's the angriest, most, he, and even when he sees Jesus at the end, he's like, oh, I have no gift to bring. He's just, he's like, I hate people, all people. It's And then he yells at the animals to dance if they're not dancing right. It's one of the most depressing specials, but it's so brilliant, and it's Romeo Muller's favorite one. Wow. It's the best. It's the best one. Interesting. Yes, okay, Gil, Gil's going to favor you. Oh, okay. what are you doing now? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Don't give me the goddamn lyrics. <laughs> I don't know. The... Okay, go. Okay, Gil. Okay. When you're alone, alone in the world, when you're alone in the world, blown away leaves get Blown in the world. Something else gets blown in the world, too, doesn't it? <laughs> Swirled away, leaves get swirled. Oh, my God. And hand in hand was made for the world. Where is the hand to reach mine? Where are the shoes that click to my clack? I'm all alone <laughs> in the world. He's the worst lyrics ever. <laughs> Millions of grains of sand in the world. Why such a lonely beach? That means bitch. Ah, uh, a hand for a hand was planned in the world. Why don't my fingers reach millions of grains of sand in the world? Why mine's a lonely beach? <laughs> Nobody likes me. <laughs> oh. Everyone hates me. I'm gonna go in the garden and eat worms. Okay, that's lifted from a nursery rhyme, isn't it? Probably. Where are the heels that click to my clack? Where is the voice to answer my back? I'm all alone in the world. That was two minutes of time that you've wasted in my life. It's not exactly on my own from Les Mis, oh, is it? No, but it was. It's, I'm glad well, you just proved my point. It's, yes. the, 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 it's a horrible oh, score. I love that. Do you really? I do. You need to see the little drummer boy. As a young Jewish boy, <laughs> you need to see the little drummer boy. It is devastating, and it's it's the it's the best one. Here's the one you asked me about. Uh-huh. Twas the night before Christmas from '74 with Lonesome George Gobel. Yep, and, and as Joel Father Gray. Mouse and Joel Gray and Joel That's Gray animated. as the clockmaker. That's 2D. That's not the stop action. Right, stuff. right, right. Yeah. With, and here's there's also you'll love this skill. There's also a handy cameo by veteran actor John MacGyver. Wow. 
This is Christmas. At Christmas time, everything needs to be done according to schedule. I will not allow slackers in my corporation. I run a tight ship. <laughs> and Midnight Cowboy breaks out. And that has that song in it. Um, um, Even a miracle needs a hand. That's right. That's, uh, That's right. Which South Park did one time. In one episode. And then the brilliant. year without a Santa Claus. Stop oh, motion with Shirley Booth. Kind of not great, but she, uh, <laughs> but, she, uh, uh, but but great because of the heat miser and the snow miser. Right, right, right. And Mickey Rooney, and Rooney once comes again back. playing as, as Santa Claus. But it's a strange, strange special. It really is. And Shirley Booth, is she's like Hazel. Yeah. You know, she's. Dick, now, I Dick imagine Sean. you do a Shirley Booth. Not really. No. Come back, little Sheba. It's kind of like Shirley. A little Shelly uh, Winters. It's Shelly Winters. They're kind of similar. Come back, little Sheba. Come I back. remember in back, Come Back, Little Sheba, she tells the whole story at the end, you know, how, like, she had this dream. She dreamt every night of her dog, Little Sheba, uh, running away when she was a little girl. And then she said uh, she would call for him every night before she went to sleep. And and at the end, it's really a touching scene. Oh, she it, says to Burt Lancaster. Great actress. She says, uh, you know what, Doc? I don't think I'm going to call for Little Sheba ever again. And Burt Lancaster goes, doesn't seem like much point to it. <laughs> <laughs> Come back, Little Sheba. Come back. Here's the last four. They the little... just discovered a glass menagerie from 1966 that they showed on Turner Classic really? Movies the other night yeah. with her. Um, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Here's that, the... uh, but come back, <clears throat> little Chibo is good. She was great. She did yeah. it on stage and then great. she did the movie. Yeah. Great. Yeah. She was magnificent. Greer Garson in the original Little Drummer Boy. Greer Wait, Garson. That's Bert, the one we were talking about. I yep. heard Burt Lancaster said he fucked Shirley MacLaine. Not Shirley MacLaine. Shirley uh, Booth? Shirley Booth. Wow. Yeah. He was hot. You know. <laughs> I mean, she was kind of like, Whoa. yeah. He was. Well, Shelly Bert- Winters used to bra- brag about. I fucked uh, everybody. <laughs> doing Bert I did. I fucked everybody. I fucked <laughs> Jane Francesca, Charlie <laughs> Francesca, <laughs> Kirk Douglas, Laura McCall. I fucked them all. She had the biggest dick, Laura McCall. <laughs> oh, I love Laura McCall, hey, by the so, way. Hey, we know you knew her. Do you remember the Christmas? Well, this isn't that old. Yeah. The Christmas Carol with our. Former guest played Scrooge. Hmm? One of our former guests. Oh, God. Who was it? You got me. Albert Finney? You got, we didn't have Albert Finney. <laughs> I, wish we, I wish to hell that's we had the best Albert Scrooge Finney. Ever. That's that, a good one. That's the musical with, by Leslie that's Ricketts. And one. it wasn't a list of sim. Well, I know no. George C. Scott played him. We didn't have him. Yeah, no. Henry Winkler. Yes. Nice. Really? Henry Winkler as Ebenezer Scrooge. Uh, a nice Jew. Ever... <laughs> a nice, nice Jewish, Jewish boy. Ever... Yeah, but... We had him on the show. I like George C. Scott's Scrooge. Yeah, me too. Very good. See, too. Now, now, a lot of people were saying that Scrooge, because he was tight with his money yeah. and stuff, that he was actually supposed to be a Jew. But he wasn't. No. No, he was not. No, no, no. He he Because he, he, all of his relatives celebrated Christmas. He was yeah. A, you know, he, he was a Protestant or whatever the fuck. Fuck they were in England, but you know, yeah. I mean, he 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 was not a Jew. He was just a <laughs> he was a cheap Catholic. Paul Freeman, <laughs> <laughs> or, or a cheap Protestant, or something else. Was Paul, Paul Freeze and June Foray show up in the Little Drummer Boy. Oh yep. Uh, then Frosty the Snowman. Yeah, these are ranked. Yeah, those. Are, by the way, uh, nineteen sixty nine. What number is Little Drummer Boy? Uh, four. Because it's considering the, best. It's the fourth be best. Yeah. Uh, Frosty the Snowman with Durante, yep. with Jackie Vernon, and then it's uh, Professor Hinkle with Billy D. Wolf. Oh, wow. Billy D. Wolf. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then Santa Claus is coming to town with Fred Astaire. We talked about it. The yep. Burgermeister Meister Burger. Burgermeister Meister Burger. And and, and Keenan Wynn was Keenan, the Winter he, Warlock. He's, he's, wow. Put one, one foot, foot in front, front of the other. other. That's Don't the song the I said. Frank, you're always oh, changing the game. Keenan Wynn was great. Oh, Keenan Wynn was wonderful. He was the Winter Warlock. And and remember Jessica, the girlfriend yes. who had huge tits. She the puppet <laughs> had the biggest puppet tits I've ever seen. And she sings this song that's all mod. And she's so Barbara Streisand. Played by it. an actress named Roby Lester. And did she do the singing too? I don't know. Something about this we'll world. Put, we'll put is that mine. out there to our fans. Now, now this this brings us to an important question. <clears throat> yeah. 
Do you think every Christmas special is about fags? Yes. <laughs> I do. They're certainly not about Jews. They're about oh, fags. Lord. Except for the little jungle. But they're written by Jews. That's the truth. Yeah. Isn't it the truth? Yeah. Well, Barbara Streisand did one of the greatest Christmas albums ever. But it's true. But I, 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 they, I mean, well, you ever thought of Santa Claus? There's that other song where he, he's like, um, if you sit on my lap today, a kiss, a toy is the price you pay. Oh. Come on! Oh. Yeah. yeah, and he's like, be prepared to pay was the name of the song. It's like, <laughs> now, oh, now. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'll fuck you in the ass, little boy, and then I'll give you a toy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, you know, Charles, Nelson, Nelson Riley, Riley callback. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I mean, what? I, it's 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 that's it's either about about pedophilia or homosexuality. It's one of the other. Presents, huh? It's it's too big a job for one oversized Here it is. Kringle and a little lost penguin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a good girl! It sounds pedophilia-ish oh, right wow. away. Wow! <laughs> oh, what a big smile! All because of a toy. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh wait. wait. If you sit on, on my lap, lap today, a kiss, a toy is the price you'll pay. <laughs> when you tell what you wish for in a whisper, be prepared to pay. Be prepared to pay. Oh you my God. A kiss, a they usually cut this the price the TV you'll now. Pay. Sit on my left knee. Don't be stingy. Be prepared to pay. Okay, that's enough. Oh, I'm having thank you, flashbacks. Frank. Boy, that, that's the original lap dance. Yeah. Right Chris, yeah. Christmas is a creepy holiday. It's a very creepy <laughs> yeah. holiday. Aren't you happy that's you're Jewish? Yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> but it, it, well, you can never be happy you're Jewish. That's but still. Well, you can't be happy. <laughs> You're a fag either, so don't worry about it. It's okay. You can't be happy you're in this world today. It's yeah. been very troubling lately. <laughs> very oh, troubling. Before we forget, what? You have to have Barbara Streisand sing a Christmas song. Oh, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, bell, bell. <laughs> oh, it's fun on this too. He's got something for us later. Uh, yeah, I'll say something. I'm going to okay. knock through these quick. These are, this is Me TV, our friends at Me oh, TV, and yeah. they've written about our show, which we I appreciate. I love Me TV. Yeah, they did a, a little piece on our Don Wells episode. This is they uh, they did a list here uh, called Twelve Unforgettable Live Action Christmas Specials of the Seventies. Okay. Uh, and I wanted to see how many of these you guys Me TV remembered. Didn't want me on because they said I was obscene and tasteless. They did. Yeah, I don't know where they were got they wrong? that from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Starting with Rich it's, Little's. It's, uh, it's an unsubstantiated rumor, well, they... much like when people say you're gay. Exactly, and it's not true. I have a wife and three kids. <laughs> I grab pussy whenever I can, and they let me do it because they think I'm a homosexual. And I'm a star, you know, so they're allowed to. You're allowed to grab the pussy when you're a star. And here I am, a star, and feigning homosexuality, and I grab the pussy, and believe me, I enjoy it. And then I smell my hand and I go home. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Rich Little's Christmas Carol from 79. Who remembers this? I don't. On HBO. Oh, he, yes, I do remember. He, uh, WC, he did W.C. Yeah. Fields as Scrooge. Yeah. Paul Lind as Bob Cratchit. Uh, Nixon, Carson, Bob and Lind. Bogart. And Peter Sellers. Turns up as Inspector Clouseau as the ghost of Christmas. He should, see, now, I think he, sh- he should have switched. W.C. Fields, I think, should have been Bob Cratchit. And Paul Lind should have been Scrooge. Scrooge. Imagine that. How about the Donnie and Marie Christmas special? Uh, from ni- also from 1979. Oh wow! Uh, from the Donnie and Marie Entertainment. Are these going to be playing on Me TV? All of these? I don't, don't know if they're actually going to be playing. Then these. why are you talking about them? Because I want to see what you guys remember. All right. Cindy Williams and Dorothy Hamill twirled on the ice together. How about the Star Wars Holiday Special? I I think I saw that a long time. We ago. had the director here, <clears throat> Steve well, Bend- Steve Bender, who also directed Elvis's comeback special. Well, don't brag. Same guy. It was not George Lucas. <laughs> Same <laughs> guy. Had the director. I'm yeah. kidding. Yeah. Uh, Art Carney and B. Arthur turn up, and Gilbert and I still haven't figured out why. Oh, B. Arthur? Yeah. She's the barmaid. In? In the Star Wars Christmas special. Plays get off my bar. <laughs> you, you'll get that trunk or whatever it is. Are you an elephant? What are you? <laughs> get off of my bar. How about the Honeymooners Christmas special from 1977? The reunion. Is it? Oh, when they were very long in the tooth. Jackie Gleason and it, and it, 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 it's, yeah. it's it, Jackie Gleason. Jane Keen replaced Joyce Randall. Oh, my he, God. He's supposed to be, you know, he's a Brooklyn bus driver. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And he's got one of those brown-orange tans. 
where you wonder, like, where did he get that tan being a bus driver in Brooklyn? And he had on a pinky ring. And it's like they didn't have a TV or phone. And you're going, you know, now they're old people. And now it's sad. Yeah, because he never made any money in yeah. the story. Yeah. 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 He's still driving the bus. and But he got a pinky ring. He got it from somewhere. Yeah. He, he bet a horse. Do you remember the Father Knows Best Home for Christmas from 1977 reunion show? I think I do remember that one. Yeah. With Robert Young and... Was Paul Peterson in it? Uh, Is that Paul probably. Peterson? Probably. The Carpenters at Christmas from 1977 wow. with Harvey Corman, Christy McNichol. Oh, my God. <laughs> and how about Bing Crosby's Merry Old Christmas from 77 with Bowie? Oh, and, oh, I, yeah. and I remember, too, like in that, my favorite thing about the 70s honeymooners was they would break into songs. Sure. Just out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. like The one, one from Miami Beach. Yeah. They would musicals. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sheila McClay was Sheila McRae McRae was, was Alice. Was Alice, yep. And uh, Jane, Jane Keen. Keen. Yeah. Jane, Jane King! King! And, and <laughs> I, I remember. Ah, Connie! One song sticks with me in particular. Uh, Ralph and Norton aren't speaking to each other. And he, uh, Gleason starts singing. If I was talking to him, I'd really get hot. I'd tell him that a gentleman, he's certainly not. If I was talking to him, which I ain't, if I was talking to him, he'd certainly know exactly and precisely where I want him to go. If I was talking to him, which I ain't. And who wrote that? (laughs) <laughs> Probably Sammy Spear. Yeah, I mean, he remembers so this, by the were, way, from 1970. These were, this is when it was in color. <laughs> and they, last time he saw it. This is when they they were in color. Yeah, right? yeah, and yeah. They, and they, yeah, they that, did. They broke it. They made it a musical. Oh, yeah, it, yeah. It, those sure. were. You know, there's a honeymoon honeymoon is musical that's going around somewhere. Seriously, like a disease, and um, and I think that they may, maybe they use some of those songs. I wonder if they do. What were the Get TV Christmas specials you watched? Well, Mitzi Gaynor. How was that? It was good. You know, I love Mitzi Gaynor, but, you know, uh, um, I don't remember any of it. It was like diarrhea. It goes right through you. Barry, how about Perry Como's Early American oh, Christmas with I, John Wayne? I was, I don't didn't see that one. Okay. But I think he slept through it, Perry. Did you watch Andy Williams' Christmas specials? Yes, I did. There was a couple of them. The one with the Osmonds. Sure. Well, that they were on good. a lot of them, right? Yeah. That yeah they they were on the well he'd love the Osmonds because they reminded him of his him and his brothers when they were younger and his brothers are on there. the Williams brothers are on there after they broke up they were still I forgot that Andy Williams had, that there were the Williams brothers had a brothers. relationship yeah. yeah and they 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 were actually really great Andy Williams could sing yeah I sure. thought he oh was he was great. a terrific I remember him singing yeah. it I'm I'll give away my age but I remember him singing at Robert F Kennedy's gravesite. Really? Yeah, Battle Hymn of the Republic. I, I'll I never forget it. 1968, June of 68. Seeing Andy Williams sing a duet of a uh, Paul, Paul Simon song, and he and Paul Simon just sung a duet together. That's interesting. Like, I think it was Sounds of Silence or something oh. like and that. And then his ex-wife shot sure? a skier. Oh, yeah. Remember, oh, that, Saturday? Yes. Remember that Saturday Lange. Night Live sketch they did? Oh, they did the Claudia, the Claudia Lange, Lange ski L- invitation. Yeah, they would show a guy taking <laughs> off and then a gunshot. <laughs> yeah. And they go, and like, oh, Claudine hit, her, hit him again. It yeah, was... Claudine, uh, Claudine, uh, Claudine Lange, Lange yeah. accidentally shot another <laughs> skier. And they had to apologize the next week, I remember. Ooh. Is that true? Yes. What Peggy Lee was on some special. I forget some Christmas special. It was. Um, well, I mean, I got a big list here. But I we think don't it have was. Time to go through I think it all. was. Um, it, uh, I think it was Andy Williams. Probably. Yeah, he did a couple of Christmas specials, but she. I always love Peggy Lee because she. There's all is that all there is is one of my favorite things. Oh, and, here's something that I think uh, a Christmas Carol the story got right. <laughs> it's like when other movies. Try to say, I'm going to show you what your life would be if, uh, you know, if you won that football game or whatever. And then they have, like, the guy going, oh, what, what happened? Why, what do you mean, Mr. President? And they go, I'm the president? And I'm always thinking in those movies, you know, well, of course you know you're the president. You're not showing what a person, how a person would actually be. 
But in a Christmas carol, they're outside of it. Yeah. Observing yeah. it. Which one are you talking about? The Alistair Sim? All of them. Uh, yeah. yeah. The story all of them. itself. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. The story itself. Yeah. Because all these other shows will go, uh, you know, oh, I'm married to you? No. You, of course, know who you're married to. If that's your life. Yeah. 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 Well, they, well you know, it, that's why it's been done a million times. Is that all there is? I have to say that watching It's a Wonderful Life, it's it's just, it still holds up so well. Well, it's I, it's so well made. It's a killer at the end. Yeah, I cry. Richest at the end man of in town time. when he holds up that. Uh, it's pretty sad when he holds up that. And moving it. A toast end. to my yeah. big brother George. Yes. Yeah. Sentimental. Oh, oh Lionel <laughs> shit, Barry, Barry, Lionel Barrymore. The best. He was, he's so great. That, that film is seventy years old yeah. this year. It's wow. Yeah, nineteen forty-six. 1946. It's a brilliant movie. It and, really is. And they made reference to it in Ford Fairlane. There you they go. They did? There One you of go. the characters. There we go. There's a girl named Zazu Pedals. Oh, oh. Zuzu's Pedals. Zuzu's <laughs> Pedals. Zuzu's Zuzu, 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 Zuzu Pedals. Zuzu, 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 Jimmy Stewart. Zazu yeah. Pitts. Zuzu's Do it. Ah, uh, well, these, these are Zuzu's Pedals. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw Zuzu, Jimmy Stewart before. All right. What am, oh. We got something challenging here. Oh my god! Okay, this is challenging. Now, okay. Frankie, this is uh, since we're talking okay. about Rankin Bass. Okay. And Santa Claus is coming to town. Okay. We're gonna try this, and you guys are gonna have to be fast on your feet for this one. You suck. Go ahead. Different, uh, Frankie. What do you think? Oh, okay. Gil, so you want to look ahead? I see oh. who you do, oh. and I see who I do. Okay. Right. Okay. Everybody okay. can re- you can recognize your own it's every uh, other your okay. own your own except uh, we both do one of them but you can do you'll it. do the ending together. Go ahead, Frankie. Good luck. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list, checking it twice. He's gonna find out who runs hell. Santa Claus is cold, oh yeah, hell. He sees when you are sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. When Santa Claus is coming all over my face. (laughs) With little tin horns and little toy drums, Rudy Toot Toot and Rummy Tum Tums, Santa Claus is coming to town. And curly-head dogs that toddle and coo, elephant boats and kitty cars too, Santa Claus is coming to town. That's, that's true, he's coming to town. And the, the kids and girls in Boyland will have a jubilee. They're, they're going to build a toy land all around the Christmas tree. So you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Well, that was delightful. <laughs> <laughs> <What is> <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was fantastic. That was lovely. <laughs> I enjoyed that. That was Cher and Peter Laurie yeah. and Jerry Seinfeld and Shelley Winters oh, yeah. and Julia Child and, Julia and Paul Lynn. Oh, that's <laughs> we didn't get to the Carol Channing with this. We didn't get to the Carol Channing. It's all right. And we didn't get to the Herve Villa Kid. No, we didn't. <laughs> Let's do another song. Silent night. Holy <laughs> night. All is calm. All is bright. Brown, your virgin mother and child. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> All right. Jingle good bags. <laughs> Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle, jingle all the on way. way. Oh, Irvine and Liza, the Christmas special. 
Oh, you better watch up. You want to take us out with something, yes, Mr. Cantone? I'd like, yeah. We're we going to let him do a solo, let's do Gil. This little, okay. Let's do this okay. little, let's do, let's do the real Judy Garland Oh, you know singing. what? Maybe I'll say goodbye to everyone and then Yeah, okay. let's do that. Hi, I'm Gilbert Gottfried, and this has been Gilbert Gottfried's amazing, colossal podcast with my co-host, Frank Santo Padre, and this has been our Christmas special, and we're ending the show with our guest, Mario Cantone. You are a genius, my friend. Oh, please. Thank you for coming and doing Thank this. Thank you. I love you guys Merry very Christmas. Much. Merry Christmas and Merry uh, whatever you think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I'd like to close the show as Miss as Judy Garland, and I'd like to sing. An, uh, it's not non denominational. I'm sorry. It's very uh, denominational. <laughs> so let's sing this song. Uh, Frankie, hit it. This is this is in my arrangement, but I'll do my best. I will. I'd like to wish everybody a, a very merry Christmas. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. Next year, all our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself. A merry little Christmas Make the Yuletide gay Next year All our troubles will be miles away Once again Someday soon we all will be together if the fates allow. Until then, we'll have to muddle through somehow. That's uh, 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 Mort Lindsay. I like that. That sounds marvelous. Where's Joey and Liza? I think I left them out in the snow. That's all right. It's fine. They'll be back in soon with Liza's gay boyfriend. Once again, as in olden days. I think I'm on the wrong... Words. You gave me a fucked up arrangement, <laughs> but everybody <laughs> have yourself a merry little Christmas now. Come on in, Mel Torme, Mort Lindsay, Liza, and her gay boyfriend Tracy Evans. Before you go, <laughs> Ju- Judy Garland. Judy Garland's father was a fag, wasn't he? Yeah, well, uh, supposedly he was. Yeah, he was gay, and you know he was gay, and and uh, Vincent Minnelli was. was yeah, gay. Well, he, he obviously. And then she, Liza married Peter Allen, and David Guest. It gets all gets passed down. <laughs> when you don't slap them in the face and say no, he doesn't like pussy, <laughs> and teach the girl. <laughs> it gets passed down. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank You're the you. best. Mario the best. We love you. <laughs> Happy Christmas. <laughs>